Hey, Shalom. This is Nathaniel from the Holland Camp, first and foremost. <laughs> I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, that teach and rule well, among many other things. And peace and salutations to the elect that are scattered abroad, four winds of earth, out there in the highways that are just in pushing truth and sincerity. Shalom. You know, and um, the title of this video, I'm going to call it. I haven't written it down yet, but um, came with it. I was thinking of it today. You know, you know, and and the thing is, you know, when you are being called onto the Lord, you know, the Lord has warned us, as it says here in Sirach, Sirach chapter two, verse one, and, and it reads, "My son." If thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Right? So we have been called, okay, to do what? To do the Heavenly Father's will. To bring forth his words to the world that that hates the Heavenly Father. All right. And for the elect. Okay, the the elect that are scattered uh, throughout the four corners of the earth. All right, the one third in America, an innumerable multitude of uh, those that believe, women of children and men, you know, those that have helped the prophets. All right, have you know? This is this is really you know is going out to y'all, okay? Because you know we're all taking the beating. You know, I can say, yeah, I'm, I'm dealing, with, dealing with a lot, but who's not? You know, who's not? Who's not catching hell? Who's not being brought to a low estate? And that's why the Lord said, my son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Because we're going to be afflicted. Right? So, as a title, you know, this world... Is kicking dirt in our face, right? But what what should we do, right? As 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 this world is kicking dirt in our face, we're gonna wash ourselves. And how we're gonna wash ourselves, wash our face, is with the word of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, that's gonna keep us getting back up to fight that good fight in faith. Right? Because we want to be deemed worthy. We want to be deemed honorable, okay, towards the Lord. Acceptable men. Right? As it says uh, in this verse right here, it says, verse 5, For gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. So, we, you know, we are being considered acceptable men right but we really want to be considered acceptable men when when the time comes even right now as we're catching hell that we continue to endure right because the rest of this world they're not getting chastised like how we are you know we we, we do something and we're going to get corrected right away <clears throat> all right there's a lot of things that we're going through right now you know and it just continues on. And, you know, we see the world for what it is, because as it says. in um, let me see if I remember it. No, I think it was in the last verse. Let me see. <clears throat> yeah, this is Ecclesiastes chapter one. Oh, wow. Let's have that check. Well, anyways, has some scriptures on deck. Uh, this is a. Uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 1 verse 17 and it reads and I gave my heart to know wisdom and to know madness and folly right so this is uh, you know King Solomon right I perceive that this also is vexation of the spirit for in much wisdom is much grief and he that increases knowledge increases sorrow. So, 
the more you grow, you know, within this ministry, the more wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that you're going to receive, the more sorrows you're going to have. Right? As this world continues to kick dirt in our faces. All right? And hate the fact that we bring out this truth. We got to we gotta wash ourselves daily, man. Right? Because... Let me grab this really quick. Ephesians chapter 5. And I think it was in verse. Let me see. Huh? Was it Ephesians or was it? Huh? I just read it. It's not too long ago. Let me see if I can find it. Ugh. I think it was in Galatians, but hold on just a moment. I don't want to make this video long. Man, if I just want to download further. This is Ephesians chapter 5, verse 26, and it reads that he might be might sanctify. And cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. Okay, so, you know, the word is what's going to wash you, right? That's what's going to keep us clean from the filth of this world, man. You know, this, this world continue to kick dirt in our face. You know, try to hold us down, trying to get us out of there. Okay, but we got to continue to get up. And wash ourselves with this word. Okay? Because that's what's going to keep us clean, man. Alright? From the ways of this world. Alright? And we got to understand that you're going to be deemed, okay, as a filth of this earth, man. We're going to be hated of all men. Alright? Because this is what it says um, in John. So like yeah, uh, let's see, John chapter fifteen. I think it was a verse seventeen. Let me see. Uh, verse eighteen. So this is John chapter fifteen, verse eighteen. If the world hate you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. All right, and that's why this world continues to kick dirt in our face. And I don't mean that literally, but I mean it spiritually, you know, because you know, it's, it's, <clears throat> it's, 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 it takes a lot out of you, but we got to continue to endure and to get stronger. Okay. By, you know, applying the scriptures on our daily path. That's what's going to keep us secure and stable in these latter days, man. You know, and, and 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 worried about the ways of this world is not what's going to help you, okay? Because that's going to you know lead you to leaning on your own understanding. The Lord wants us to trust in Him, not to trust in our own might and our own strength and our own wisdom. That's that's not what the Lord has set up. That's that's what it means to come back to the Lord, okay? That's what it means to come to the old path. Okay, where are we going to what? Find rest. Know who we are. You know, these are the beginnings of, all right, coming back to our heritage. But there's a lot more to that because as you as you grow and you learn, not only that you're a Hebrew Israelite, okay, for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites, and all you speckled bird, uh, you know, Israelite foreigners, all right? But there's, there's more to this. Just knowing who you are is going back to how we went off, right? Coming back to what we have learned, okay, back in, in, in the ancient times, man. You know, and especially, you know, uh, when the Lord hit the sea, man. When he came upon this earth in the flesh, taught us these words, man. And it's not of his, his own, but of the Heavenly Father. That's how serious it is. 
And the thing is, is that we got to take heed to this gospel, this beautiful song that's being sung, okay, and continue therein, okay? So because, you know, the Lord, okay, when he was on the scene, he was hated. Just like in ancient times, all of our people, not all of our, majority of our people wanted the prophets dead, man. They have murdered the prophets. Generation after generation, they have murdered the prophets, man. And it hasn't changed to this day. Okay? So, as it says here, John chapter 15, verse 18, If the world hate you, ye know that it hated me before I, it's like it, before it hated you. Okay? So, we are here today. Okay? And... Romans 15 and 4. Things are written on far time, are written far learning. Why? Because you're going to see, okay, that this world already hated, all right, what the Heavenly Father has already established and set up, okay? Our people always wanted to go against the Heavenly Father, man, okay? That's why we're in the condition that we are right now, okay? Our people went a whoring. Okay, just wanted to live free. But what did that cost us? Okay. If you were of the world, the world would love his own. Okay. And because the world loves its own, okay, we got to understand that, <laughs> you know, it ain't, it ain't going to help. All right. To... Uh, Try to establish some other thing, you know, of equality, that you have rights, okay? It ain't going to, it's not going to help. What's going to help you is by applying these scriptures on your daily path, okay? Which is going to lead you to what? Salvation. All right? So it says here, if, if ye, it's like, if ye were of the world, the world would love his own. So the people of the world, they love their own, man. That's why you just, you know, <clears throat> you know, they, they, they do, they do, you know, they, they, they back each other up even when they're wrong. You know, we are wondering why, you know, he's getting hooked up with this and that. While wow, you've been doing everything correctly. You know. It's, there's so many uh, scenarios that I could just put out there that, you know, your brothers already know, all right, concerning that. You know, for example, you know, our own, even our own family members, did, uh, you know, discontinue to want to talk to us or even have just a regular conversation. You know, every time we come up with, you know, a, an event, family reunion or whatever it is, something always has to come up concerning the scriptures and this and that, instead of just, you know, you know, understanding that, you know, we're not going to agree on both things. Okay? So, the world is going to love its own, man. You know, Christianity is a prime example. Even though that they have so many false doctrines out there, they still stick up for one another. Why? Because it's all about love. Right. It says here, um, but because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world before the world hated you. Remember the world that I said, it's like it. Remember the word that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than the Lord, than his Lord. So we're not greater than our, our Lord, Yahweh Shai who they really call Jesus. Okay? Because he came in a scene and he had to go through much tribulation, man. All right? Caught pure hell. You know? And, yeah, you, you could say whatever, but we are not greater than our Lord, man. So there's no other way around it. 
okay? There's no other way around it. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute, uh, persecute you. If they have kept my sayings, they will keep yours also. But all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake, because they, because they know not him that sent me. Okay, and just how, how the Lord has sent us out. Okay, we could, because we come in what? We come in the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, who the ignorant called God. In his son's name, Yahweh Shai. Okay, just like our, our Lord was on the scene, preaching the word of the Heavenly Father, wanting our people to repent, to get right. Okay, our people don't want to hear it, man. They persecuted the Lord because they thought, like, who is this guy, man? Come over here and try to come with authority. Well, we come in the same spirit. We don't come in as if we got an authority, but we come in and telling y'all, man, what y'all doing is not right, man. And that's the problem. Right? So they're going to, you know, they're just like how they did the Lord, they're going to do that with us too. You know, because right now, you know, I just watched a, a video of uh, Elder Manata Zakba, Salakia, Salakia Elder, Elder Manata Zakba, uh, if I said it uh, correctly, um, you know, uh, the Hebrew Christian, man. Right, and this female was saying, "Yeah, uh, I'm a black. Uh, I I just found out that I'm a black Hebrew uh, Israelite. You know, but I'm not like those black Hebrew Israelites because there's two types of is uh, black Hebrew Israelites. Those are preaching on a corner, and then you have the real black Hebrew Israelites. You know." But basically coining us as, as evil and bad. Okay. You know, and, and that's those are the same niggas back then hating us for nothing, man. You know? Saying false accusations, right? Lying about us, calling us all types of different names, deeming us as 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 uh uh Church of Satan, right? Um, the Grape Doctrine. You have uh, Deacon. Just watch the video of it. Uh, a clip. Slandering Elder Apostle Tahar. You know? This is, this is the world that continues to kick dirt in our faces, man. But we got to understand that this is, this is what was... This is what... We were told that it was going to happen. And there's no other way around it. We're not greater than our, our, our master, man. We are not greater than the Lord, man. Our Lord, Yahweh Shai, that came back to redeem us, man. And there's going to be a time where we're going to be, we're going to be actually redeemed, man. Right? We're going to be made perfect. Okay, when that last trump comes, you know, and that's what we wait, we wait for, man. Okay. Now, this is Luke chapter 6, verse 21, and it reads, Blessed are ye that hunger now. You know, even though we suffer, you know, feels like, man, you know, we're living in a, like a simulation. It's not real. It's artificial. The females is dumb. They're broke, man. You know, I mean, so of course, if you get, you know, the Lord throw a bone towards your way, you know what I'm saying? Shit, you know, enjoy it while you have it for that moment. But, you know, it's just, you know, the things that you work for, it's, it's, you know, sometimes it gets you down, man, you know. For, for me, you know, I just feel numb, you know. Feel numb, like... Shit, man, you know, what am I doing this for? Like, shit, you know, pretty much, you know, I just want to get the hell up out of here. But 
that's that's not the thing you know i gotta have a bit of balance as well and that's what i'm um you know fixing up right now you you know um but that can't let us hold us you know those kind of, you know for an example right but those kind of situations can't hold us down you know and and, and keep us back from doing what we're supposed to be doing man you know we got to continue to wash wash ourselves off with this word man right being fervent in the spirit of Yahweh Bashanel Shai pushing his word pushing his word man you know and 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 you know that the Lord has done so much for us that we might not understand at the moment until you get that understanding that he will give you you know because you know everything is spiritual Everything that you receive and what you go through is all the will of the Heavenly Father, you know, to try us, to fix us up, to heal us, right? When we get beat down, you know, and the thing is, the Lord is strengthening us in the spirit, getting us prepared, you know, and it's also perfecting the hatred of this fucking piece of shit world, man, that we're living in. This world is, is garbage. It's nonsense, you know, and it but we got to we got to be consistent man we got to continue to be consistent and I, I look at myself that i need to be consistent so that's one of the reasons why i say that because yeah you know continue to get dirt on your face you know it's uh sometimes you be like shit man but we got to continue to push through it and wash ourselves man and, and just you know put on the whole armor because this is the battle man we're in the battlefield, you know. You know, wash it, wash that 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 dirt out of your eyes, and and continue uh, moving on, man. Okay, so blessed are ye that hunger now, right? We hunger for what? We hunger for a righteous kingdom, man. Right? We hunger for a life that you know the the, the works of your hand. You be able to enjoy the fruits of your labor, man right that when having a family you know you're gonna have children and your wives and that are gonna be in order man right food that we eat animals everything in its true essence man real air to breathe when you wake up in the morning man real water with minerals that man that refresh your body when you take a nice drink man food that is you know not artificial with chemicals and preservatives and poison and you know and gmos genetically modified organisms ain't none of that shit gonna be in the kingdom this is the things that we hunger for and guess what we have to get the fuck up wash ourselves off man because this is the battle, man. This is the fight. This is what we're fighting for. So don't give up, man. Get your ass back up. Wash your face. Wash yourself with this water, man. This word. And keep pushing, man. For ye shall be filled. Because we're going to enter into the kingdom here. Right? We're going through that straight straight gate, man. And the word straight is not straight as S-T-R-A-I-G-H-T. That's straight like if you're going straight down the street. No. I'm talking about straight S-T-R-I-T. Position of difficulty, man. Look it up. That's what it's talking about in, uh, what was it, uh, Matthew's chapter... 13 verse 7 or i think it was yeah i think it's matthew chapter 13 verse 7 man okay but guess what we're about to enter into the why you know that's why we got to continue to wash ourselves with this word man okay continue washing ourselves with this word man Okay, wash the, the the filth off of us 
from the ways of this world because we're about to enter into the kingdom here very soon. The Lord is about to redeem us. The Lord is about to deliver us. The Lord is about to avenge us. Okay? That's why we have to continue to wait until the Lord rise up to the prey, man. Blessed are ye that weep now. So we we are we are hurting, we're going through a lot of shit. But that's okay, because the Lord said this is what we're gonna to have to deal with. Okay, let me grab this really quick. Just want to make sure that I dropped it. Alright, um all right. Blessed are ye that weep now, right? We are in, in, in the house of mourning. We're suffering loss, right? There's so many things you could put, you know, your mind towards the things that, you know, we're going through. But it's all for a just cause. You know, this is not our rest. Okay? This is not our rest. This is our punishment. Okay? But we got to bear... Okay, and deal with the things that we have uh, uh, that we have to deal with, because the Lord has set up a path for all of us, each and every one of our us. You know, we have a, a path that's been laid out before us. It's not going to be the same as the next brother next, right, right next to you. Okay, so worry about what you're dealing with. You know, of course, you're going to be mindful of brothers and help each other out, strengthen one another. That's why I'm trying to make this video. Not trying. That's why I'm making this video. I mean, how this all is going to be edifying for those that need to hear it. All right. And for some of you sisters out there too, you need to hear this too. Because it's not an easy thing. Right? It's going to get harder and harder. And just like the other Apostle Tahar said, get comfortable being uncomfortable. Okay? For ye shall laugh, because, you know, the times that are to come, okay, when destruction comes, the Lord's going to protect us, man. He's going to be our confidence. He's going to keep our feet from being taken when the destruction comes. He's the one that's going to feed us in a time of famine, okay? When, you know, when Esau come down with his weapons and stuff like that, that's what the scriptures talk about in Isaiah. No weapons formed against us are going to be able to do what? They ain't going to prosper, man. They ain't going to prosper. Okay? They ain't going to be able to do nothing towards us. Okay? And that's what we're waiting for. And that's when we're going to laugh and we're going to rejoice in the name of Yahweh Bash and Okay? Verse 22. Blessed are ye when men shall hate you. And we just went over that. The heavenly, you know, they hated the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Okay, while well, Yahweh shy before it hated us. So guess what? We are blessed because what? We are partakers, okay, of the ministry. All right? And when they shall separate you from their company. You see? The world is going to love its own. They're going to be all chilling. You know, you know, the little parties or whatever, you come around, you be, they're looking at you weird. Right? But it's okay, man. Because we're not gonna sit there and 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 try to be a part of something that never was about us, man. This world is not for us. It's for them. This is their moment. And it's only as as a as a as a uh, as a flower in a hot day, man. It's going to wither away very soon, man. Okay? But we, we we are those trees that are planted by a riverside, man. Who's going to last longer, man? Okay? So we are blessed, right? Because the Lord says in Hebrews chapter uh, 12 and 6. What was it? 6 and 12. It was 12 and 6. Blessed is he that is... Uh, um, let me just grab it. The Lord chastens those that he loves. You see. Right? So, you know, people are going to 
cast you away. They're going to talk bad about you. Family members are going to cut you off. Girlfriends, wives are going to cut you off. Children are going to cut you off. You're going to lose children, right? But this is this is the path that's been set up before us. Are you gonna you are you gonna fold? Are you gonna break? It's not an easy one, man. You know, it's not easy, but guess what? You gotta get up, gotta wash yourself with this word, man. You gotta put prayers up, be instant in prayer, man. Pray and fast. Okay. And when they shall separate you from their company and shall reproach you and cast out your name as evil for the son of man's sake. You see? So the same thing is what they've been doing towards our Lord in the past time. Are the same things that they're doing right now towards us, man. We are not greater than our master. But guess what? You're going to get back up. You're going to watch yourself with this word, man. Even though this world continues to kick dirt in our face, we're going to get back up. We're going to wash ourselves off with this word, man. Okay? That's what we're going to do. Right? Because it says here, 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 13, and it reads, Being defamed, let me, let me read it a little further up. Yeah. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 10. We are fools for Yahweh Shai's sake, but ye are wise in Yahweh Shai, because, you know, this world, they look at us as foolish. What are they doing in the corner streets? What are they talking about? Why are they making these videos? This is rubbish. Right? But we are wise. Why? Because we know what we are fighting for. We are fighting for that crown. Right? Because we got the victory. We just got to continue to hold that fast, which we have learned. No man take that crown. Right? We are weak. But we, but ye are strong. Right? We, we're not the, the mighty men, the, you know, the most smartest, strongest, whatever. You got brothers out there. Of course, we got skills and combat and uh, you know brothers are very uh, uh, intellectual okay but there's a lot of our brothers that you know what I'm saying such as myself you know I'm I'm not you know smart I'm not the smartest dude at all man nor the mightiest okay but you have an exception because we're gonna walk we're gonna come from all walks of life okay Ye are honorable, but we are despised, you know? So the things that we're doing is a very honorable thing. Standing firm, steadfast in this truth, man. Okay? Speaking the gospel of Yahweh, while Yahweh Shai. Okay? Right? It says here, verse 11, Even unto this present hour we both hunger and thirst, and are naked, and are buffeted, and have no certain dwelling places, right? You know, we, you know, this, hey man, we catching hell, man. We're going through all types of situations, losing homes, no certain place, dwelling place, right? You know, sometimes we're hungry, you know, but guess what? The Heavenly Father, how about Shemel Shai? Is always there for us. Is always, always delivers out of many situations, man. You know, and that's that's why you know, as this world continues to try to kick dirty in your face, right? To, to get you to stop from seeing. Continue to wash yourself, wash your face with the word, man. Get up, wash yourself with this word, man. Okay. Verse 12, and labor working with our own hands, being reviled, we bless, being persecuted, we suffer it. So we labor working with our hands, man. You know, we, we go into 
the scriptures. We go into different words, you know, we go into the words to get the true understanding of what these scriptures is talking about. We're breaking it down, you know, we're making these videos. We're going out there to the highways and hedges, right? Compelling those that, that need to be bid to the marriage, man. You know, we, that's the work, man. We, we check on each other. We make sure brothers is good. Dealing with order, dealing with, you know, many situations. But that is the part of the ministry, man. You know, though we go through many different situations where disagreements and stuff like that because brothers have different mannerisms. You know, we continue to have what? Brotherly love. We apply the scriptures instead of our own feelings, okay? So that way we can, you know, continue being what? A family, man. Right? So the things that we're going through, being persecuted, we suffer it, man. Being deemed, you know, as, as evil and all these different type of names that they got for us, right? Being defamed, you see? <laughs> this female that I used to date, I mean, she's a very beautiful girl, no lie. You know, curly hair, natural, light-skinned chick, all right? This bitch preferred... For me, instead of being out there, because one of her friends saw her, saw me teaching, you know, and she said to me that she'd rather have me on the street getting money. I said, how? Selling drugs, man. Than to do what's right. She gave me an ultimatum. If I choose her or uh, it's over with. I said, it's over. You know? Ain't nothing coming between me and this word, man. You know, because I know this is my salvation. This is my ticket. Y'all with the Zah. Y'all going to be on that shit with y'all brothers, man. You know? So we got to understand that, you know, we have to suffer it. Okay? Um, yeah, all right. So I can, I got a little ahead of myself. Uh, let's see. Where was I? All right. I'll continue on. Being defamed, we entreated. We are made as a filth of the earth. Okay. You know, they, they give us different titles. Say that we are this and that, right? But that's okay. And are the offscoring of all things on to this day, to the same day, okay? Um, this is, because, uh, you know, we have, we have been warned that these things were going to occur. This is First Thessalonians. Chapter 3, verse 3, and it reads, That no man should be moved by these afflictions. For yourselves know that we are appointed thereon too. So we shouldn't be moved by any of these afflictions. Because this, this is what it says, For verily, when we were with you, we told you before that we should suffer tribulation, even as it came to pass, and you know it, right? Because the Lord, you know, he explained what, hap what was going to happen. And then what happened? Okay. And that we're not greater than the, than our Lord, man. We are not greater than our master, man. So just like what our Lord had to go through, that's what we're going to have to go through as well. But we should not be moved by any of these afflictions because we have been warned. Okay. For verily, when we were with you, we told you before that these, that's like it, that we should suffer tribulation even as it came to pass, and you know, for this cause, when I could no longer forbear, I sent to know your faith, lest by some means the tempter have tempted you, and our labor be in vain. You see? So, you know, the tempter, <laughs> Satan, you know, setting up obstacles, trials and tribulations to get you to fall off. But guess what? This this is part of ministry, man, to exhort one another to continue in the faith, man. 
right? Because this is what it says here. In Acts chapter 14, just popped in my head. Chapter 14, was it 14 and 21 or 22? Yep, this is uh, Acts chapter 14, verse 22, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting, meaning to strengthen, them to continue in the faith. And that we must do much tribulation, enter into the kingdom of our Lord Yahweh Bahashem El Shai. You see? So we have we have been what exhorting one another, strengthening one another to continue in the faith. Because we're going to, there's no way around it, man. We're going to continue to catch hell and it's going to get worse because it's going to be a time of what? Persecution. You know, brothers that stand next to each other, reading the simple scriptures, man, are going to be deemed as terrorists upon the earth, right? Where we already con uh, we already said many times over and over that going out there, getting a ven get vengeance on your own, that's not of the Lord. We're waiting upon the Lord, okay. To come avenge us. We're not seeking no uh, to avenge ourselves. Because the Lord said. In Sirach. It was a 28 and 1. It says. He that revenges shall find vengeance from the Lord. So if you're out there going to get vengeance on your own. This is what the Lord going to do man. And he will surely keep his sins in remembrance. So the Lord is going to kill your ass man. And guess what? Your 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 sins are gonna be remembered, meaning in the in in the, on the other side, okay, your shame and everlasting contempt is gonna be shown, man. Okay? Because you want to go out there and get vengeance on your own. But when the Lord ordered us, it was a commandment that we should not go out there and cause okay, any kind of strife, fighting. We are to be blameless, man. And blameless is not going out to be as brawlers neither to be fighting and shit like that. Just because the world is doing all these things towards us? No. We got to continue in the faith, man. These are the trials and tribulations that we have to go through. Okay? But there's going to be a time where things are going to change. But until then, we wait upon the Lord, man. We wait upon the Lord. Man. <sighs> Or was I? Um, totally slip where I was at. Yep, I remember now. So going back to First Thessalonians, chapter it's like it, chapter three, verse four, and it reads: For verily, when we were with you, we told you before that we should suffer tribulation, and it came to pass, and you know. All right. This is um. 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 13, and it reads, Now for recompense in the same, I speak as unto my child, children. Be also enlarged. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. Right? So, thinking that, you know, you can make friends with, you know, of course, there's nothing wrong with making friends with mammon. You know, when, when you know... It, you might need help with some money here and there, you know, it's according to balance, right? But don't be out there with these motherfucking demons thinking you fucking evenly yoked, man. All right. For what fellowship hath, uh, hath righteousness with unrighteousness and what communion hath light with darkness? Okay. It's two s s separate entities, man. Something to do with light and darkness is not going to mix, man. Okay? So what? Being what? The children of light, man. We are not to be sitting there chilling and trying to be cool. Okay? With unbelievers, man. To try to soften the blow. To try to make your life much easier. Of course, you're going to use wisdom. Scriptures say in, in Romans chapter 12... If it be possible, make peace with all men. But don't be sitting there chilling with worldly dudes, all right? Because, you know, guess what? That worldly spirit is going to jump on you, all right? 
And next thing you know, before you be another fucking fallout with pink hair trying to rap and shit. And and it just happened not too long ago. Do fell out the truth. All of a sudden, got pink pink hair and shit. There it goes again. Got pink hair and shit, and 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 want to rap. It's like garbage too, man. Not to say you you know if it was dope that it would be dope. Hell no, man. We all we have we all got uh, an office, okay, that we got to uphold, man, and continue, man, to do our work, man. All right. So yeah, man. You know, yeah. What this is, this is edifying, man. And just understand, man. This earth, not this earth, but this world that we're living in, they're gonna continue to kick dirt on our faces, man. We continue to get up. And wash yourself with this word, man. Put on that full armor. All right. And continue, you know, renewing the mind. Applying the scriptures. Scriptures say, blessed is he that reads, right? So we got to continue to dive into the scriptures. And uh, increase, man. You know. So with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. I'm going to give double honors to the apostles, that is a great millstone, that teach you well, among many other things, and peace citations to the elect that scatter abroad for winds. Shalom.